the applications you build will be consumed by end users. Let's see how we can manage these end users in our systems. So first of all, some concepts. Uh, there are a few more components in our systems uh, than just the IDE. For example, the enterprise setup can include multiple environments, the test and production. Uh, it also will have an environment called lifetime, that's the DevOps console. Typically, uh, developers build his application in dev environment, and then he uses lifetime to push this application to the next environment. This is where eventually the applications are being consumed by the end users. Now, how do we manage these end users? Is from service center. So what is also to be noted is each of these environments have their own environment management console that is called service center that can be used for, let's say, logs, versioning, and several other stuff. Now, users is also one of the applications that exists under service center. Now, this whole setup might look different if you're using free personal environment of our systems, because in that case, what you have is only this part, okay? You don't have other environments in there, but rest of the concepts are still the same. Now, let's go ahead and look at how you can access these uh, consoles, admin consoles. So, for example, if you're using uh, Service Studio, from there itself, you can access Service Center from within an application by clicking on this cogwheel icon. If you are outside an application, you can also access this again from cogwheel icon. And the link also exists under the environment menu. Okay, so if you click on this, it brings you to the Service Center. But it's not very hard to you know remember the url as well it's basically the environment url that you have plus service center now this is where if you come in you should be able to search for users app that's right there and you can open it up in the browser how does it look you can uh, log in with the same admin account that you have let me use mine and once you go in, that's where you can manage these end users. You can create them, you can look at their properties, reset this password, and several other things. Now, uh, there's uh, one change that happens in your enterprise environments. Uh, that is basically inside the user application. It's made up of users module. Uh, remember, if you're using an enterprise environment, the account that you use for accessing user application can be different. And that is managed from the module users and under single sign-on, this way you can configure this admin user. If you go inside, you are able to set the username and password. Now this is a must for your enterprise environments. For personal editions where you only have one environment, this part has been automated to let you use your one single account that you have for accessing Service Studio, accessing Service Center, and even the user's application. So once you access this, you are able to manage the users. There's one last way of accessing user's application, which is from your lifetime. Now, Lifetime, as I mentioned earlier on, is the DevOps console. You can access Lifetime either by appending the name of, I mean, the URL with the name Lifetime at the end, or coming into a service center and clicking on this link here, which allows you to manage all the environments. Now, in this case, this immediately brings me to the Lifetime, where if I go under Applications, I can manage or access the end user applications right from this environment, uh, which was under the Applications, okay? So if I click on here, it also brings me to the Environment Management. And that's it. Thanks for watching.